Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and a question that came through uh, by email was about moving on to Windows 11 from Windows 10. And now with all the bad, you know, stories, the bad things we hear about 24H2, um, that viewer wants to move on to Windows 11, but he doesn't want to get 24H2. And he was wondering, is there a way to do so? Well, it's a little complicated if you don't have an image of 23H2 because if you're on Windows 11, your machine is supported. Uh, if, for example, Windows 11 shows up in the updates, for you to move on to Windows 11 from Windows 10, you'll automatically get the latest version, which is 24H2. And you got no choice. That's the way it's going to actually present itself. Um, the other thing also is that if you do use the website to upgrade with the Windows 11 installation assistant or you're going to create a installation media, once again, you're stuck with version 24H2 for Windows 11. And it tells you here at the top that this is the current release. So, unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't offer going to an older version. It'd be interesting if, you know, you had a drop-down menu and say, well, for now, I want to go to 23H2, and, but unfortunately, it doesn't offer that. So, what gives? Well, either you can find somebody or somewhere uh, where you find a Windows 11 23H2 uh, image that you can use to uh, upgrade. But even that, if your machine is actually compatible, as soon as you're there, it's going to want to upgrade to 24H2 also. So all of that together means you're stuck getting 24H2. Um, now, that also means that probably the next question you have is, well, with all the stories I'm hearing, um, should I wait? And uh, the thing is, it depends what you want. If you really want Windows 11, I will say go for it. Um, I think it will be fine once you're at uh, Windows 11 24H2. Now, if it's not, you know, really urgent, if you can still wait, um, you know, just wait it out. Um, stay on Windows 10 for uh, the next few months, and at some point you'll be on Windows 11 and 24H2, although all the bugs, most of the bugs are pretty much now fixed. Um, you know, it's going to continue getting better, and um, if it's really not a, uh, a, a urgent matter, just write it out and, and stay on Windows 10, and you'll be fine. But um, even if you decide, well, I do want to go to Windows 11, uh, you know what? It's fine. It, it should be fine, and I don't think you should worry much about anything for uh, moving on from Windows 10 to Windows 11 24H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.